Hey guys, it's day two. <clears throat> well, day one, day two, whatever. It's uh, Friday, March 8th, and um, just trying to figure out what to work on today. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna maybe work on the uh, roof rack here or what. Um, but I've decided that since I'm not going to cut the uh, mattress, I took it inside for now, uh, then we're gonna work on something else. And I realize I have a couple finishing pieces. I got put the still have to put the little bolt thing through there, and I got to make a couple of feet. Um, but I'm going to do some other dirty work first, um, since that's not super super important. I also have to cut out window um, covers. I'm going to either make them out of cardboard or this uh, this insulation stuff that I have down here. Not quite sure which one I'm going to use yet. Um, so let me figure things out a little bit here, and uh, I'll get back with you. Alright, so here's what I'm up to with the roof rack. I don't know if you can see it, but I just got two crossbars that I uh, chopped everything off of. The uh, same bed frame that I used for the uh, well, the bed down here. Cut some spare and used it up top there. I got the uh, solar panel up there just kind of laying flat. And now I'm going to put the, uh, the roof box up there and kind of just get a feel for things and see how things fit and if I want to adjust anything and how I want to make brackets and such so let me get everything up there and we'll see how it looks alright so I got the roof box and everything up there just loosely positioned get everything spaced out and what I'm doing now is I'm this bar will be a little bit more in the middle there but what I'm doing now is I'm measuring because I'm gonna these bars will be sitting It'll be rotated, so it'll be sitting flat against the top here. And I'm going to have to make a flat piece of steel to go underneath of it and clamp it with two bolts on either side around the roof rack. So what I'm doing now is I'm measuring the length of the bolts I need. And I'm going to try to find those security bolts, or at least some Torx bit bolts, to make it more difficult to, uh, to remove. Um, less tempting for someone to steal, rather. <laughs> Uh, so that's what I'm working on right now, just taking up some measurements. And um, the excess will be cut off the side there. And then alongside there I have the solar panel. I'm going to have to take some measurements for for the bolts here as well, although I suspect they'd be the same size. I'm going to have a bracket that mounts the bar here underneath the roof rack. And then I'm going to have to have a uh, another one that that mounts the solar panel to the uh, the roof rack bar here and then plan is so <clears throat> solar panel will be mounted semi permanently it'll be able to be removed but it'll I'm going to make it a pain in the ass so it'll take a little while to remove i'd like to get a cover or something for it even if it's just a tarp or something that i can um, ratchet strap around it just to um, make it so people can't immediately see what it is if I'm in a city or something like that. Um, and then, let's see if I can do this without damaging everything. Alright, so that'll be mounted, the solar panel will be mounted just like this. And then I'm going to make two of these bars. They'll be like this to do this without scratching anything. Okay, so imagine the bars are like that. And I'm going to have two feet, one that goes over there and attaches to the uh, to this bar, and one that goes here and attaches to this bar. And I'm going to have another one of these bars over here, and they're going to be removable, and I'll just use regular wing nuts for them. And the purpose of that is if I want to go surfing and rent a surfboard or a kayak or whatever, um, it'll be kind of like a riser so that I can have some storage, um, some um, temporary storage. If I want to rent something, just throw it up there, ratchet strap it down, and uh, not worry too much about it. Uh, but it's not a permanent thing because obviously it'll block, it'll block the uh, sunlight from hitting the solar panel, so it won't. It's not meant for a um, permanent solution. But that's my thought, so let me uh, take some more measurements and probably head off to the hardware store soon. Man, prices at the hardware store are just dickered. So, 
I didn't get that steel there. It's some leftover I had. But I got two pieces of conduit. Um, and what I plan on doing there is cutting off some slices and um, putting it in here so it'll it it'll make a flatter surface for uh, for both the solar panel and the box to to rest against so it's not just resting against this top piece here and it won't really have to take too much weight because the angle iron will um, take up most of the weight and the pressure from the solar panel and the and the uh, roof box here but I got a whole bunch of hardware it's been almost 50 bucks I'm going to show you what I got uh, a bag of bolts I couldn't find the security bolts so I got these carriage bolts that way no one you know I can have these sticking out from the bottom no one will be able to to loosen it from the bottom anyway so I'm going to have to make a a top kind of bracket that goes around these nuts here so that no one can put a wrench on the top and just loosen the top and take the whole bracket off the car. So I got eight of those, you know, a bag of bolts here, uh, lock washers, everything that goes with it. Uh, now for the solar panel, I found something different. I found these pipe pipe clamps, I guess they're called. I call them U-bolt. Um, oh shit, I realized that someone took these metal pieces off of a couple of these. That's great. So there's another trip back to the hardware store. So it's missing this metal piece here, you can see. I made sure to get them on these smaller ones, so I got all of them, but I wasn't sure which, which size is going to fit. I don't think that these, that the smaller ones are going to fit. And I can't yeah, this is gonna fit. So that's a trip back to the hardware store. Awesome. Well, at least I can cut my holes. Uh, so what these are for is these. I'll see if they can fit right here. Actually, that might work. Yeah, that might work. So it'll fit around here like this and go through the bottom of the solar panel and bolt in. And because of the way the solar panel is, it's got kind of a lip on it. I don't know if you can, there you go, so you can see back here, so it'll be kind of hard, you'll have to reach back there, it'll just be a pain in the ass, but that might work, and then um, I'm also going to chain it, I'm going to get a piece of chain into one of these holes up in here and just wrap it around the, the roof rack. Um, so, you know, all these clamps, of course, were uh, $2 or so each. This is a turnbuckle eye hook. <laughs> and this is for um, the curtain rod inside, because it's still got a little bit of, of tension, or a slack in it, rather. So this is to make, uh, make it a little bit more taut, um, to pull it together. Um, so this is this will be in there permanently. So put that in place. That was a couple bucks. Uh, the biggest purchase of the day was 30 feet of 12-2 uh, low voltage landscape wire uh, for the solar system. Uh, I decided to get this because it's UV resistant. It's the right gauge that I need. It's meant to be outdoors, so it's pretty tough stuff. Uh, that was about 20 bucks, a little over 20 bucks for all of that. Um, and it's nice and it's pretty thin. It's not all bulky. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm working with now. So now I just gotta kind of start laying things out and seeing where I want stuff to go and um, making up some plans. So when I figure something out, I'll be back with you. All right, so here's what I'm up to now. Um, st I've still been, I've just been pondering for the last hour or so. Uh, how I'm going to be mounting this, uh, all the stuff to the roof here, uh, taking measurements and making marks and all kinds of stuff. And I decided I just needed to do, take a break and do some work. So, um, on my previous solar setup that I showed you here, I have these Anderson connectors that I use to um, disconnect the battery. And I decided I'm going to use those to disconnect the solar panel and the battery. Um, there's going to be a cable, actually this cable, that's going to go from the solar panel and run down on the inside here um, and somehow it's going to get inside I'm not sure how yet and either end is going to have an Anderson connector on it so I ordered some of these um, Anderson connectors off the internet 
and I've been assembling them. Um, so you basically heat them up with the propane torch and uh, melt some solder in there and makes for a nice tight connection. Um, so then I'll, all I have to do is put it in here. And what I'm making now is an extension. And I have a 12 gauge extension cord that I'm going to bring along with me. And I figure it, it can serve double duty because what I can do is I can put a regular 110, 20 volt plug on one end, the Anderson connector on the other end, and then what I can do is utilize the extension cord um, to extend the, the length of the solar panel cable. So if I want to take this off the roof, say I'm camping you know, in the desert or somewhere for a month, I could take this off the roof um, and then I could you know, move it around and angle it towards the sun um, away from the van. So it would, it would make it a little bit easier to capture the, the sun's rays. So I'm making these little adapters. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but it only takes a few minutes. So I may as, may as well do it. And this one's got uh, the male end on it. And then I'm going to uh, have a female end on the other side. And the Anderson connectors don't have male and female. Um, they just kind of snap together in the right orientation. So that's what I'm working on now. Um, I think after I take this break, I'm going to get back to working on the roof rack. Okay, so I finished up the connectors. And again, this was just a little side project. I don't think I'm going to need them on this trip, but here's the connectors. There's two of them. Let's see if I can do this one handed. There we go. So one's a male, and one's a female. And again, the Anderson connectors um, don't have a male and a female. They just fit together in the correct polarity. So I just had to mark on here which side is the positive or which plug is the positive. Um, and I'm going to get my multi same thing with here. Get my multimeter out. Make sure everything's correct before I before I plug everything in here. Um, so what this will allow me to do is one end will be connected to the end of the solar panel, like that this end, or maybe it doesn't matter, but say this end's connected to the battery, and then in the middle, or the, sorry, the solar charge controller, and then in the middle there, I can put my 12 gauge um, extension cord. So that way, like I said, I can take the solar panel off the roof, and um, I can move it around wherever I want, get the best angle for the sun. Uh, the only thing, the only trouble I'm having at the moment is figuring out what the best method to mount the solar panel to the roof because the um, the nuts and the bolts are going to be really difficult to access. So that'll be great for preventing people from stealing things, but um, kind of a pain in the ass as far as um, wanting to take it off fairly easily to um, to camp or to uh, you know to camp when I'm at a campsite for a long period of time and put it in the sun. Uh, and that just might be have to be something that I deal with. So. Um, I might sit here and think for a little bit longer if there's a better way, but I gotta get going on this on this roof rack here. So I'll get back with you. Okay, so it's a little bit later now, almost 10 o'clock. Um, haven't really done too too much today, but let me show you the progress I've made so far. Um, so I got the bars all laid out. I haven't really cut anything yet. I just spent the day laying everything out, checking and double checking because this is the last of this size of steel that I have. So. I started out with, try not to put these bolts on the car, okay. I started out making these brackets. So I made four of these brackets, one for this side, one for that side, same, same front and back here. And what this is, is this slides, let me take this apart. So I took one of the bolts out, you can see where the hole is. But basically what happens is these two pieces get pinched together with the bolt going through both of those holes and the same thing over here and I didn't like it it just kind of looked too clunky it looked too bulky so I went to the hardware store and I found these u-bolts and they're pipe bolts I think they're called two inch pipe bolt something like that and they fit right around the, uh, the roof rack here so what I'm going to do now I have my one hole drilled here, so I marked for another hole, and I'm just going to drill these two holes, and um, try this U-bolt, this pipe, what is this thing called? 
U-bolt pipe, two inch pipe clamp, whatever, and I'm gonna um, see how this works. Um, these are kind of expensive, these are a couple bucks a piece, uh, but I think it'll look a lot cleaner. I'm gonna have to chop the top of these, uh, chop the top of the threads off and grind them down, but uh, I think it'll be okay. I think I might even have to thread a little bit, uh, a little bit longer down here, but um, what I really should be focusing on are the um, what I really should be focusing on are the, the windows and I should be uh, I should be cutting templates um, that'll fit inside the window to block out the light um, but I'm procrastinating of course so because um, I really want to work on the roof rack so I'll work on the roof rack for a little bit longer and then um, maybe a little, in a little bit I'll get started on the uh, the, uh, the window coverings here but I'll, uh, I'll be back with you. Alright, so I got the hole all drilled up. And this is what it looks like here. Um, it's pretty secure. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. You can see that movement is the actual um, bar. The roof, uh, roof bar here. I think that'll be okay. So I got to drill uh, one, two, three more, well, two, two, four, six, eight more holes, which is good because even though I, um, I have no problem custom fabricating, and actually I already did fabricate all the other brackets, this looks a lot cleaner. So I'm happy I can uh, do it this way. Um, all right, so I started uh, cutting the interior window panels. So you can see, I haven't finished that one, but it's in the process right now. Um, and that's just so if I sleep, no one can see in. The only problem that I'm having now is, as you can see, uh, you can see it. So that's not very stealthy. Um, so I'm going to have to figure something out with that. I think I might have to um, maybe go with some kind of cloth. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to go with some kind of cloth. I don't know if I'm going to do it for this trip. Um, but yeah, that's that, to me, that's too visible. I, I don't really want to tint the windows any further. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these window panels. Uh, this will be good for now. Um, but yeah, so I'll get back to work here and show you my progress. Hey guys, what's up? It's, uh, it's Patrick and it's uh, Saturday today. So I don't feel like I got too terribly much done yesterday. So today I made myself a list um, of things I need to do before my week-long trip. And um, I've got to kind of stick to them, at least today. Um, they're not, it's not a lot, but it's, it's stuff that's just little things like uh, cutting the bed to the right size, putting feet on the end of the, uh, on the, end of the legs there. I gotta put that pin in. Um, I have to finish up the windows, figure out some kind of coverings, even if it's just for this week. Um, I have to go through some gear I have up in the attic. Um, you know, like I need a can opener and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I have it. I just gotta find it. And then figure out some kind of semi permanent, well, temporary rather, um, carpet um, for, for right here. I don't think I'm gonna get the whole piece of carpet yet. Uh, it would take a lot to cut it, although that could be something I could work on tomorrow if I get everything done uh, but that's at the end of my list so I've got a lot of little things today um, so you won't see a whole lot of progress um, but I'll uh, I'll bring you along with me and and show you uh, show you how I uh, show you how I manage so I'll talk to you soon alright so what I'm up to now is just doing final leveling um, I got this board cut down I actually took two inches out of it you can see my line that I, uh, I decided not to take it out of the front. So I took two inches out of the back of it, um, chopped it down so it's the proper length for the mattress now. Um, now all I'm working on is making everything level. Um, remember like I said I raised the back a little bit. It's about a quarter of an inch higher than the front just so when the trunk's loaded down it'll be fairly level and if anything it's okay to sleep with your head elevated a little bit. Uh, and it's only a quarter of an inch, it's not too bad. So like I said, right now I'm just doing final leveling. Um, I'm going to drill the holes 
for the pins and I'm going to put some feet on there. I'm going to need to take a little bit off of each of these uh, legs because I, when I moved it back, the floor, the way it slopes, is actually sloped a little bit higher there so it actually made this front piece a little bit um, out of level, out of whack. Um, also I found some, I had double nutted this just to keep it loose so I could slide it in and out, but I realized I had two more of these wing nuts, so I'm just going to replace these, uh, these double nuts with a wing nut so I can loosen it when I want to make it uh, loose and slide the whole thing back in and then um, tighten it down again and then loosen it up and pull it out and tighten it back down again so there'll be four wing nuts. I think that's a better idea um, rather than making this loose all the time because it's right now it's it's tight like it's double nutted so it won't come off but it's loose so that I can slide it in and out and I don't really have to have it um, loose like that all the time. So. So I stopped working on the, um, the roof rack right now and I actually took the solar system out. Got it. It's a nice sunny day so I'm sitting here charging charging away. Here's the battery. I don't know if I showed you the, I've showed you the new solar battery yet. It's a 100 amp hour sealed uh, lead acid battery. So it's uh, okay to use inside and in closed spaces. Um, I was a little concerned because I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell, but the uh, it's bowed out a little bit, which is usually a sign of a bad battery, but I'm not sure on this. Uh, it's brand brand new, got it off the internet, but I'm not sure about these sealed batteries, so I have, I have no idea. But I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. Um, if I can't try it on this trip, I'm going to try it out You know, day to day. I'm going to hook up the solar system and just run around with it and you know, take it out and try to use it when I can. So, um, but yeah, you can see um, uh, it's just charging away there. And it was actually full before, I mean, it's not really taking a charge. But, uh, but yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. So let me get back to work. All right, so right now I'm working on welding the feet. Uh, you can see it's just a flat piece of steel that I cut. It's actually the part of the brace that I used for the roof rack that I stopped working on. Um, So as you can see, I've got that piece of cardboard under that foot. I'm going to take it off and weld another flat piece of steel to it. I got the pin in there okay, as you can see, the cotter pin. So it'll prevent this forward piece from sliding out. Um, put the wing nut on the bottom so it makes this front piece nice and tight. Um, so yeah, so right now I'm just working on welding these pieces. Alright, so it's a little bit later in the evening. I ended up going out to dinner with a friend that I hadn't seen in a long time, which was nice. Uh, old high school buddy. So now, um, back working on the van a little bit. Not doing too much at the moment. Um, I got everything I wanted to get done before the trip done, uh, which is good. So now I have an extra day where I can. Um, start working on or finishing rather the uh, the roof box and it doesn't really matter I, I don't think I'm going to take that box with me uh, to Florida I'm not sure about the solar panel um, but I'm going to try to get as much done tomorrow as I can if I don't finish it up whatever that's fine not a big deal uh, the most important thing was to get the hitch on to get the bike carry bike rack um, assembled uh, which I did a couple weekends ago um, so here's the van. It's uh, a little dark in here now, but as you can see, the uh, I put up all of the window uh, blockout panels, and I custom made them. You can kind of see the one on the sliding door there. The one on the rear uh, I took down so I could back it up a little bit, but um, it's pretty dark in here. Actually, if I had them all in here, you probably wouldn't be able to see anything. Um, you can see these panels here, and. Here's what they look like. So you can see them. 
through the window which is a tad bit suspicious you know it's not really super stealth I'm gonna have to come up with another method uh, for blocking out the windows but this works really well uh, with all of the panels in there the doors shut uh, it's pretty dark in there I tested it earlier today uh, so that was glad I got that done um, I weld it up I finished all the feet um, I just put flat tabs and welded it on there uh, I was running low on uh, I guess I gotta do a little bit more sanding. I sanded the edges to try to get all the like little hooky pieces off, but I got one. I don't want it to catch the carpet. I got one snag, you know, a little. I got one piece I gotta sand off here. But anyway, that's not a big deal. I got all the feet welded up so it won't puncture through the carpet. Uh, I did them on this one as well, and the ones further back. Um, I actually didn't buy a carpet. This my mom actually lent this to me. She uh, had it in the basement, and I just told her I needed something for for the trip. So she had this carpet. It fits pretty well. I just needed something for the living area. So this fits pretty well. You can see I still have the plastic hanging over. Um, so this will be good for this trip. But when I come back, I'm going to uh, purchase a large roll of bulk carpet and kind of cut it to fit uh, so this will be a little bit nicer but this works temporarily uh, I'm not sure how well with the light you can see under there but I have um, the three containers that I that you had seen in the first video and I actually had a little bit of room left over for a dish pan um, can throw some you know quick kitchen stuff in there um, and it also doubles as kind of like a kitchen sink to wash stuff up afterwards I don't have everything in here that I want. I just washed, washed some kitchen gear. I gotta grab some stuff from my house. Um, a couple of pans I'm gonna bring. and A few other things I wanna bring along on the trip. Uh, you can see there's actually plenty of room um, between the top of the container and um, the bottom of the bed. Uh, so that's good, that's good. Um, Got the pins in there. I got the holes drilled. For some reason, this the, the inner piece of steel here was really tough to drill through. The drill bits, even the brand new drill bits I had, just didn't didn't like it at all. So I had to start with a tiny, tiny little drill bit, and I had to work up like six drill bits. I've I, I've been drilling this metal here for four weekends now, and I have never had as tough of a time drilling through it as I have these two holes, one on either side. And I'm thinking maybe it's because of the welding, kind of like heat tempering the metal, making it stronger and stronger, because that spot was heavily welded on the inside. Um, I didn't drill through welds, but it was in a general location. Um, so that's all taken care of. I think I mentioned earlier, got the wing nut here on the bottom. And this was in an earlier video that I installed the wing nut here on the end. So um, the bed, uh, unless I need to make tweaks to it, 100% uh, done. So that's good. Uh, living area, uh, livable for this trip. So I got got all that done. Got the curtain installed. I haven't put the uh, that little clip I purchased at Home Depot that that tightens the rod. I haven't installed that yet, and I'm not sure if I will before the trip. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Got my list here. Got everything checked out. So did the. Um, I trimmed the board, trimmed two inches off it, front to back. Put the feet on the bed. Put the pins in the bed to prevent it from sliding down. The window coverings. I went through any gear I had in the basement that I wanted to bring with me. Got a temporary piece of carpet. The iPod cable that I installed was actually a little bit too short, so I don't know if you watched the iPod in, uh, auxiliary input video but I had to actually unzip tie it from under the dash where I had it and kind of move it downwards into the uh, underneath the dash a little bit lower so the cable would stretch out a little bit further and I could reach it from, when I, from where I was driving because it was just a little bit too tight. I actually ordered an extension cable from eBay, a 30 pin extension cable not just a charging cable and, um, and that should be here sometime shortly. Uh, a couple of other things I would like to do uh, that I'm thinking about now. Um, getting these, I had these little LED Christmas lights and the dome light. It's all wired up to the back corner here, here but that's where it ends. 
Um, so I'm either going to have to figure out I've got that small lead acid battery there or am I going to wire, wire up the big solar panel battery and just not have the solar panel wired up. Um, I won't have all the switches and things installed I don't think tomorrow uh, but maybe that's tomorrow's project. So for tonight I'm basically just going to tidy things up. I don't think I'm going to work on the um, I don't think I'm going to work on the roof rack at all, but I may do a little bit more tonight. I don't know. We'll see how, how I feel. It's getting kind of late. But I wanted to get a few things done. Uh, tomorrow I also have to install the, I think they call them vent shades. Uh, they go around here and say I'm on the rear of the door here and here. And it's going to be a nice day, a nice early day tomorrow, about 60 degrees. So I didn't want to do it in the cold because I wasn't sure how well it would adhere to the door. So tomorrow will be a good day for that. And that will allow me to... Um, to when I'm sleeping crack the window about this much here and um, people won't see that the window is cracked but I'll still get you know ventilation into the van so uh, yeah that's uh, that's where I'm at so I got those two things to do tomorrow wire up the lights figure out if I'm going to be able to use the solar panel or not and um, and the vent shades so until uh, tomorrow have a good night Alright, so I did one final thing before I uh, call tonight. I, um, if you can see the harsh light, yeah, sorry. But I got the uh, curtains installed there, and to close the gap, well, semi close the gap, I figured I could use the, the little piece of string that I used to tie it up and keep it off the floor to the handle there. And it does a pretty good job of blocking out the light. I also installed, see if I can do this, if you remember yesterday, if you can see that, um, and that just puts this little, I don't know, what do you call it, you tighten it up, and it makes this, this top wire here really nice and strong. Hey guys, what's up, it's Patrick, it's uh, Sunday, March 10th, lost an hour of sleep last night, um, yeah, that was kind of shitty. <laughs> But it's a nice day again. It's supposed to be about 60 degrees. So, uh, getting to work, finishing some stuff up. Uh, today I have to install the vent shades and I have to uh, figure out what I'm going to do for the interior lighting because I'm not sure if I'm going to have the solar system. I might start working on the solar system, but um, I at least want to have a small battery or even the solar battery hooked up, even though it won't charge. Um, so that I can power lights and charge cell phone batteries and stuff like that um, when the the van's not running. So let me show you what I'm uh, what I'm working on today, well, right now. So these are the vent shades that I got, and uh, so I'm just in the process of unpacking them. Getting all this plastic off. Reading the instructions. Seem pretty straightforward. So I just gotta. There we go. Figure out what goes where and get them on there. I don't really need the front ones, but I'll figure out put them on anyway. So let me get this side put on and uh, maybe I'll do a time lapse of the other side. We'll see. We'll see how this side goes. So. I'll be back with you shortly.
crack the window about an inch, and air will still be able to get in. Uh, that good, somewhat vent, some ventilation, and uh, people won't be able to see if the windows are open. So, so that's it. First project of the day down. On to the next one. All right, so I got all the uh, the bolts cut down to size and trimmed off. So now the next step is to get the solar panel up there and start measuring things and seeing when I need to drill holes in the bracing for the solar panel. Okay, so what I'm up to now is I took the um, the connectors that I had. These are the ones that came on the solar panel. Uh, they're 10 gauge. And I had them into the solar style connectors. I forget what they're called. Installed my own negative lead, and then I have immediately after the solar panel, I have a um, a, uh, a fuse so that you know I'm going to fuse the hell out of this system so that if anything goes wrong, there'll be multiple places for it to. Uh, for it to blow a fuse. So that's what I'm working on now. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I'll route the cables and then I was when I when I was thinking about how I'm going to route the cables I decided I might as well just go ahead and wire everything up on the back here with the Anderson connector um, and um, figure out how I'm going to lay it all out. So let me get that figured out and I'll get back with you. Alright so now what I'm doing is I'm, um, I'm going to solder the connectors on to uh, the plug that the Anderson connector slides into. So I have to heat it up, put some solder in there, um, make a nice tight connection, and then it'll just snap into the end of the Anderson connector. Usually I do it using the um, using the bench top uh, clamp here, and uh, it's a lot easier because it'll hold it while I sink the wire into it. So I had to figure out a new way to do it instead of taking all the wires out. So what I came up with was heat this up. Um, you heat this up, you put the solder in it, and then I can heat it up again and shove it in here. And it seems to work okay. Um, so let me try it again. Step two, pick it up, slide it on the end. Gotta heat it up again though. There we go. So now I've got two plugs that I can put into the Anderson connectors. I'm not going to do that one yet, just yet, because it's still pretty hot. Make sure it's nice and solid. Get my screwdriver. So the Anderson connectors, they have a negative and a positive side, and it's the same thing. They're both, the connectors are identical, but when you connect one the other way, the polarity is always correct. So do there we go slide this in the negative side and I gotta move this tab inside down a little bit and then it should just snap into place all right so it's cooled down enough and I can touch it without getting burned so now I'll plug this side into the positive side same deal there's a tab in here I have to press down while I'm pressing the cable in there we go. And click. Okay, so now you have an Anderson connector. And I'm hoping to uh, kind of zip tie it out of place, like right here. And I'll show you how it works. This is that extension that I made a little bit earlier, um, earlier in the weekend. And uh, it is clipped together. 
So now I can plug my extension cord into here and use the other side that I have to another Anderson connector and put this thing as long as my extension cord will go. My extension cord is 12 gauge wire so that will work okay. Um, and it's nice to have these quick disconnects because if something really goes wrong I can just pull these apart. They're fused just in case, um, but it's always nice to have multiple points that I can pull the system apart if something happens because it's, uh, it is in my car anyway and um, I need, you know, whether I'm inside the vehicle or outside the vehicle, I need a way to quickly disconnect everything. So, uh, so yeah, that's what, I, uh, that's what I've been working on now. Let me, got this back panel, it's waterproof that back on. I'm going to wrap some electrical tape around there, make it nice and neat. And all right, so now what I'm up to is um, I'm drilling the holes in the solar panel here for So, I made these two marks so I can um, bolt this through and clamp it to the roof rack that I just uh, fabbed up. So let me get those holes drilled. I got, I put it up on the top there and just took my sharpie and marked approximately where it's supposed to be. Center punch. Alright. Just double check. Do a quick reference. Pretty pretty good there. So we'll start with a small drill bit. Okay. Trying to back off pressure as I get close to finishing drilling the hole so I don't jab it all the way through and break the piece of glass in the front here. Okay, started off small. Change to the larger drill bit here. Two more to go. So what I'll do, is I'll take my tape measure and measure these holes here. So this is about eight and a quarter to the first hole here, and I'll just do the same thing on the other side. And then we should be good to go. And then I got to work on the roof rack, cut the conduit to uh, fit the the length that I need, and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm continuing to work on the roof rack here, and I'll show you what I've done. I got one piece of the conduit cut, and I uh, notched it out and was able to hide. If you can see, let me slide this out of the way here. It sits right over top of the bolts. So if I can figure out a way to make this work, because it's going to be interesting because I'm actually going to have to bolt the solar panel onto the top first, secure it down, and then slide this whole roof rack on top and bolt this down. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to um, to get this on and secure or at least loose and able to rotate a little bit so that I can get access to the bolts and crank everything down. Um, so that's, that's kind of complicated. I'm working around that right now. But uh, I've also got the front piece that I have to cut cut to length. Uh, I still have to cut this piece of metal off right about here. Um, but, but yeah, so that's where I'm at the moment and if you can see this um, piece of PVC pipe just kind of sticks up a little bit and that's just to help 
um, make a make a flat surface there for everything to lay on, so it's not just laying on this one point. Um, I could have boxed the steel in, but I felt like this was a better idea. It's like a softer, softer area for things to rest. So let me get back to work, and I'll update you shortly. So I took a break from the roof rack and uh, having a beer, relaxing a little bit. I ended up washing the van, all nice and clean. You can see the uh, reflectex in the uh, rear rearmost window there, but all nice and shiny. So, it's all clean. Armor rolled the inside and made it all nice and sparkly. So I think we're uh, we're getting closer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish up the roof rack for the trip. Um, I'm gonna have to stop here shortly and uh, focus on wiring up or figuring out how to wire up one of those batteries. It shouldn't be too difficult, but I'm not gonna be able to finish up the roof rack the way I would want it before this coming Friday, so I'm probably just gonna have to stop. Might do a little bit more work on the roof rack, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna, I'm gonna be finished up uh, for this trip anyway. So uh, it's still in the works, still in the works. So there'll be many more videos to come about finishing it up, but I don't think it's gonna be ready for the Florida trip. But uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what else I get into today. Awesome. Someone just ran through my yard. <laughs> 